this Wednesday video, we're going to be installing Olympian Wave 6 propane heater. We started on this project in August and now it's September, starting to get cool, so we thought we'd better get on it. So we had a problem using a buddy heater in the past. It heats up real fast and then you're constantly turning it on, turning it off, turning it on, turning it off. So we wanted something that was more of a slow heat. And we've heard good stories about the Olympian Wave 6. It's also got a smaller profile, so it should be easier to fit in our van. The Buddy Heater, we were moving it around a lot. We were worried about the dog hitting it, maybe catching something on fire. So this video is going to be different than most of our videos. It's not going to be a how-to video. We're just going to share our experience. It may not even work. And we wanted to give ourselves enough time to go with a different set up if it does fail. So. Hello, I'm Dave with one adventure at a time. We've been living in our self-converted van now for nine months. And today we find ourselves in South Portland, Maine at a park doing another roadside construction. And you might wonder why we're working on our heater. Well, we know the cold weather's coming soon and we want to work all the kinks and all the bugs out. So we're getting it mounted and put together right now. So I had Home Depot cut the wood and then we got here and then we changed the construction. So instead of getting the Dremel saw out, we went the fast way and we use this very precision handsaw. No, not very precision. <laughs> it did the job. So now I'm just using a file and I'm just going to sand it lightly before we install it. Okay, so this is the frame for our Wave 6 heater and we didn't know it at the time. So we kind of got pretty dang lucky when we ordered the Wave 6. It can be mounted vertical or horizontal and it just happens to fit perfectly in this spot horizontally. So this is a frame that we're going to mount it to, which is going to bring it out from the wall so the heat won't get trapped underneath the medicine cabinet. Look, you won't even need any screws. All right, all <laughs> in there, huh? That's what you want. Nice tight fit there. Yep. We will use some screws though. Okay, I want to show you what always happens with everything you do in a van build. All right, so see this side's nice and perfect. Just what you want. Nice and snug up here. Oh crap. How did that happen? That's okay. We're going to let it be. Okay, this is a dry run to see if this fits. <laughs> so let's hang it. Ah, nice job. Okay. That looks pretty solid. So we're not quite done yet. We're going to put a face plate over the back of this and then redo the screws, but... And we still have to drill the hole through the counter for the propane line. For the propane line. And then we're still... Dave, what are we about to do? We're going to drill through our countertop. We have to make a hole for the hose to go through for the gas line. So we've already got the mount up. We'll, we'll paint it later, but we're ready to drill right now. All right. You ready? Are you sure this is the only way? Yep. put Gorilla Tape over the counter before we drill. Let's see what the counter looks like. Oh, not too bad. Oh, that's a pretty clean cut. All right, now what are we doing? Our hose is going to go down through our counter, but our drawer slides out underneath there. So we are cutting the corner out of our drawer. So my advice is when you do your band build, plumb it in with propane before <laughs> you're on the road. This is just one step after another. Here we go. Alright, 
there's our drawer. So they're probably asking, what the heck are they doing? <laughs> so one of our biggest concerns is we're gonna burn our van down with the heater. So we're gonna go the extra mile and make sure we don't. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put some heat shielding tape right up here against the wood above the heater. And we're gonna have it overlap onto the face. And then we stopped by a wood stove place and we got some recommendations from them about using some metal just to shield the heat as well. And we're gonna put these up and we're gonna leave an air gap underneath and in front so that will disperse the heat and not let this wood get too hot. Now, once this is all done, we're gonna have to really monitor it and make sure it's not getting too hot. So we'll run this, the heater for five or 10 minutes and we'll check it. And it will be an ongoing process where we keep checking how hot the area around it's getting. So, All right, we got heat tape underneath. We got the metal shields on top and they're very appealing looking. <laughs> They were free. <laughs> oh, Dave, this is going to drive my OCD crazy. Okay, hopefully it does the job. It looks really good from underneath where you can't see. <laughs> what do you think, guys? You think we did it? So we got an air gap on the end there. All right, we'll try it out. We may be going to plan B. Okay, so we've got the Wave 6 Olympian installed. Feels good. Nice yeah. and warm. So far, so good. We are concerned that the countertop might get too warm, so we're going to keep an eye on that. We'll keep mm -hmm. testing and see how it goes. Yep. So a propane heater wasn't our first choice. I mean, we probably would have went with the S-Bar heater if we would have had a diesel vehicle, but we don't. We would have went with the Cubic Mini. We considered the Cubic Mini. It's just, it's huge. It takes up a lot of room. And then once again, you're constantly having to feed small chunks of wood to it. So you got to bring the wood with you. Yeah. We know that they do make smaller diesel heaters and kerosene heaters, but we did like the small profile of this propane heater. It's even smaller than the Buddy heater. Yeah, so we'll see. I guess time will tell if it's time will work tell. Out or not. We started on it early, so we should have plenty of time to find out if it's going to work for us or not, and we'll keep you updated. If you have any comments, please let us know. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thank you.